My series, Is This Seat Taken?, offers readers a glimpse into my own journey toward alignment. My definition of alignment is when you love what you do, you're good at it, and it's tied to something greater than yourself. In some cases, that could be a company, it could be a cause, it could be a greater holistic contribution to the, to the planet. You're not really in alignment if any one of those three is not present. The first book is all about being present in the moment, being awake to people that cross your path, that are in the seat next to you, being awake to the wisdom that they have, that they can share with you, that helps you become more aware of who you are and how you can contribute in the world. My role as the author of Is the Seat Taken was to invite people to be awake to the empty seats that are next to them and to open themselves up to the incidental encounters that really are not incidental at all. I'm so excited about the second book because I feel like the baby boomer generation, uh, coaching so many of them as I do, many of them are very unhappy in their lives. They feel like their life has passed them by. They woke up in a place that they don't even recognize. And they feel like it's too late. This second book will say, no, it's not too late. It's never too late as long as you have breath. When we find ourselves out of alignment, we are scared to make the hard decisions or the hard choices that we need to make to move toward alignment. We are in a comfort zone. We stay in that comfort zone because it's what we know. It's what is familiar. And yet it is in all likelihood, if we're out of alignment, it's not serving us. It's not helping us reach our highest potential and our highest good. My role is to encourage people to take their seat, meaning to own their purpose, to own their authenticity, and to, to be present in their seat. My third book, Is the Seat Taken? No, I saved it for you, is going to be a collection of stories of people who come into your life, perhaps randomly initially, yet they become main players in your life. Me and the life of my friends. <laughs> it was a random person. She brought her book and she came and she said, I loved this book because it made me look at my life in a totally different way. Now I stay present in the moment because I never know who's going to cross my path that ultimately could bestow great wisdom on me. Becoming aligned and staying aligned is a lifelong journey. As long as we have breath, we have choice, and we have purpose.